Hello, I'm Dr. Petrache, diabetologist. For any questions, please scan the QR code you see on your screen. Today I will talk about the diet in gout. Gout is an inflammatory condition of the small joints. People who suffer from gout experience spontaneous and severe pain, along with swelling and inflammation of the small joints. Fortunately, gout can be controlled with medication, but also with lifestyle changes. Gout attacks appear when there is too much uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is a waste product that appears in the blood after the body digests certain foods. When uric acid levels rise, uric acid crystals build up in the joints. This buildup causes at some point swelling, inflammation and severe pain. Gout attacks typically are seen at night and last about 3 to 10 days. Most people with this condition have a deficiency due to which they cannot effectively eliminate the excess uric acid. In conclusion, uric acid will accumulate, crystallize and become blocked in the joints. Other people with gout produce too much uric acid due to genetic causes or diet. If you have gout, certain foods can cause a gout attack by increasing your uric acid levels. These foods are usually extremely rich in purine, a substance found naturally in food. By digesting purines, the body eliminates uric acid as waste. For healthy people, uric acid is not a problem because they easily remove uric acid from the body. The foods that commonly cause a gout attack are organs, the red meat, fish, seafood, alcohol and beer. They have an increased amount of purines. It seems that purines from plant sources do not cause a gout attack and fructose and sweetened drinks can increase the risk of gout, but also gout attacks, even if they do not have a high purine content. They increase the level of uric acid by accelerating several cellular processes. At the same time, research shows that low fairy dairy products, soy products, and vitamin C supplements can help prevent gout attacks by reducing uric acid. Foods with a high purine content have more than 200 mg of purine per 100 grams of product. You should avoid foods like organs, red meat, fish, seafood, sugary drinks, sugary foods, yeast, alcohol and beer. If we talked about foods that are not recommended for you, let's see what foods are recommended for you. Recommended foods are those with a low purine content, which means a less than 100 mg of purine per 100, mg, per 100 grams of products. These are fruits, vegetables, nuts, dairy products, but also eggs. In addition to dietary changes, it is good to make some lifestyle changes. It is good to lose weight. If you have gout, being overweight will increase your risk of gout. Adipose tissue will increase insulin resistance and in this case, insulin can no longer be used efficiently. Insulin resistance increases the risk of gout. It is good to add exercise to your daily routine. Exercise will help you both lose weight and maintain a normal level of uric acid in the blood. Don't forget to drink plenty of water, limit alcohol intake and use vitamin C supplements. That's about it for today. For any questions, scan the QR code you see on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and like the video. I'm Dr. Petraki and until next time, take care of your body and soul.